This video has been brought up to life because someone commented on one of my videos this. YouTube user Forrest has given me the idea for today's video and not just him, I want all of you watching to also comment down below because I also want to hear what video ideas you have for me. But let me do my intro so good morning, good afternoon, or good night. It is me, Jovial. And no need to repeat myself about what this video is about. My only problem with this video is that I only have a handful of series in my analyst to recommend. So without further ado, let's dive in, shall we? There will be three sections to this. Manga only, anime only, and series that have both. And let's start with manga only. After a disclaimer, the selection for the following series is based solely on the anime that I've watched and the manga that I've read, which are listed on the website analyst. Feel free to comment below if you believe something on or not on the aforementioned list would be a good addition to the video. To see my list, go to this link. Let's scroll to my analyst, shall we? Let's build the genre. I wanna show you how little I have. Oh, also select adventure. Whoa, that went down. Really? Hmm. Look how little I have. Let's look at the anime side, shall we? I could work with this. Probably. Maybe. I think so. Oh, I wanna check this series if it fits in the video. I've always wanted to use this one in the video. So I could probably use it now. Adventure. Sci fi? This series is sci fi? I didn't know it's sci fi. The only entrant to the manga only category is Renekotobajo no Kyoshitsu. And if you're gonna say, wait, didn't that one have an anime? And I'm gonna say, oh my god, did it? Oh yes! Haha! <laughs> Good for it! I always wanted to have this one an anime. But because at the time of recording, it doesn't have one, and I might have a lingering suspicion that it could, but not that favorable. It might, but. It's not that favorable for it to happen, but it can happen someday. It can happen. From the same author of Kishoku Gaku no Juliet, the best manga series, or the best series that I have read of all time. So, Demo Yomu Wazitako may be my favorite series, but objectively, Kishoku Gaku no Juliet is the best and the same author. And so far, I've been enjoying it. Oh, this is some news. It appears that I don't have any anime only fantasy series. So let's head on over to series that have both anime and manga because apparently everything has those on my anime list. So let's start with the first entry Pokemon Horizons. Before you ask, yes. In a technicality, yes. Pokemon Horizons has a manga. And I'm gonna base solely on the technicality. It's not a source material, but rather a adaptation from the anime. And for those of you who haven't watched Pokemon Horizons, the one where Ash is not the main protagonist anymore, as someone who has seen Pokemon since they were six, around six, has been a fan of Pokemon since they were six, and I'm in my early 20s, that one is good. Pokemon Horizons is good. It's a nice, fresh, breathe of fresh air, and I recommend it. Plus, Lico's adorable. Next is Alice to Zoroku, or Alice and Zoroku. The first time I've encountered this series is on a list somewhere on a website titled Underrated Animes You Should Watch, and this pick... Oh, oh, sorry, 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 no, 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 no. It's Muse Asia. Yeah, it's not on a website, it's Muse Asia. It's the premiere of Alice to Zoroku on Muse Asia on YouTube, and it kind of piqued my interest, so... Why not watch it? And this series is good, especially the opening. It's a banger. Like, and I want all of you to watch this also. So let's move on to the next one, which is something I want to get out of the way first because I haven't watched this for a long time, and that would be Del Toro Quest. I vaguely remember watching on our local anime dubbed Tagalog dub channel and Del Toro Quest was one of those that was aired on a certain period of time. I vaguely remember watching this because I do not watch this a lot because I'm still in school but I remember what Del Toro means in the series. Del Toro is an acronym and every letter means for something 
D. Diamond, E. Emerald, L. Lapis Lazuli, and that's the first time I've heard of the gem Lapis Lazuli before Steven Universe, O for Opal, R for Ruby, and A for Amethyst. If my memory serves me right, I could be wrong. But this is something that I want to watch again. Maybe read the manga first in the future. I'm just not in the mood to do it right now. So we have to get to san I have talked about it in a video before, and I don't want to talk about it too much on this video because I want to give a call to action to watch that video here. So let's move on to another technicality. Katawe ba last dungeon? The first time I have seen this series is also on Muse Asia, and this is actually practically my first fantasy genre or whatever genre this is or subgenre and I kind of got hooked I got hooked the first time I read I watched this but it has a lukewarm reception not that good but not that bad but since that was my first exposure to that type of series I'm not that curious to know what could be better than that because my domain is romance despite maybe having a girlfriend Here's a random segue to an underrated series, Hakume and Mikuchi. I am still currently on chapter 10 and I picked that up more than half a year ago. But it was fine, the chapters were fine. I just want to recommend this underrated series because a lot of people seem to love it and say it's an underrated gem. I'm not really a fan of slice of life manga without romance in it. Just pure slice of life if you're into that stuff without, without any romance. Just pure slice of life. That is on a fantasy setting, Hakumi and Mikuchi is here to entertain you. Not in a weird way. I mean the series is here to entertain you. I'm kind of in a hurry to finish up this video quickly, so I'm just gonna list out the remaining entries. So later. Nagaserte Ayranto, Kenja Numago. That's it. And I'm gonna put the rest of my efforts into editing this video very well. So that's it for me today. See y'all next time. Peace and give us y'all. Donate. Love y'all.